I'm excited because today I'm getting a package in the mail that is oh, amazing. It's going to be the beginning of my astrophotography journey. And as you may know, I am very much into space. And I, you know, I've taken some long exposures on my camera that I'm shooting on along with other cameras. Like I, I have been shooting for a very long time, but I've never actually owned a telescope or anything like that. So I'm actually getting one in the mail today from Celestron who was kind enough to send me one. And I'm just so freaking excited. This is not a crazy hard setup either. It's something for beginners, which is perfect for me because I'm just starting out. And if anyone else here is looking to get into astrophotography or just wanting to look up at the night sky, this might be perfect for you too. I'm just waiting for uh, that knock on my door so I can just go get it. I'm so excited. <sighs> okay. I don't know what to do until then. I guess I'm just gonna hang out in my apartment, uh, do some work. I have some work to do today. Uh, on my computer, and then I'm gonna make some lunch too. Uh, I'll see you back when the package arrives. Because I had work to do today, it was essential for me to make myself a decadent drink to just enlighten my mood a bit before I sat down on the computer to do work that I, you know, don't really necessarily want to do or enjoy doing all that much. I would much rather be painting 24-7, but real life calls. <laughs> After taking a working lunch and hanging out with Bray a little bit and relaxing, I decided it was time to settle down into my little art studio and begin painting. Now the painting I am doing today isn't anything crazy. I'm actually in the middle of prepping my new collection to be completed and the prepping time is <laughs> very lengthy and I actually was spray painting these originally to make the time go faster to speed up my process but I ran out of spray paint so I am finishing them up by painting the sides and painting the rest of them. After finishing up all 10 of these pieces, it was time for a hike. I make it a point to get outside every single day and go for some type of hike. It doesn't have to be super hard. Every time it can be easy. The whole point is just to be consistent and make sure I leave the house because I went through a phase where I was just painting and I would never leave the inside of my apartment and it felt very unhealthy. So. I make it a point to get out into nature every chance I get. On this day specifically, I was feeling extremely disconnected and I decided to just walk the trail barefoot and climb the mountain barefoot as well. And this was a lot of fun and it made me feel like a kid again, and there's just something really magical about running around in nature with your bare feet. I feel like a hobbit or something, or like I'm going on an unexpected adventure. And I just really, really like it.
I wish I could take my artwork with me outside and just paint in nature because I feel like as I've gotten older, the time in my life goes by faster and when I'm in nature, it seems to go by a lot more slowly because I'm paying attention to all of my surroundings and appreciating new things that I've never seen and doing new things that I've never done. Even if it's just taking a walk down a different trail, it just slows down life a little bit more. This being my first telescope, I was so excited and I also wasn't sure what to expect. I've never unboxed a telescope or have even put a telescope together, so uh, this was all new and exciting for me. My cat seemed to approve of everything too as she joined me sitting in one of the boxes. I honestly did not expect this to be so big and it was a little intimidating at first, but this was actually really easy to put together, a lot easier than I thought. The directions that they gave me were really clear. Finding this hex key though was a little difficult. It was so tiny and well hidden that I was looking for a second, but once I figured out where it was, now I'm just wondering, is this on every single tripod? Because that's pretty handy. So what I'm attaching right now is my dual axis slow motion controls, and this makes it so you can move the telescope around easily and smoothly when you are on a desired target. Now for the most exciting part is adding this 130 millimeter 5 inch Newtonian reflector. The StarSense also came with a 25mm and 10mm eyepiece, which is awesome. It also came with a red dot finder scope, and this is in case you want to use the telescope without your phone's help of finding targets. But if you do want to use your phone, there's a smartphone dock that you can use while using the StarSense Explorer app. And speaking of the app, the StarSense Explorer app comes with getting one of their telescopes, and this app automatically generates a list of objects currently visible in the night sky, so you can view planets, nebulae, galaxies, star clusters, and even double stars from the city. And although the scope can be used without the app, of course, this app is going to be extremely helpful to me because I am a beginner learning the night sky more in detail. All right, space fam, thanks so much for being here for the unboxing of my first telescope. It was such a good day. I will be filming a lot more with this scope in the future and shooting with it. So till then. <laughs>